Hello boys and girls, we are going to experiment with paper and we are going to learn how to make a one-page zine. A little tiny mini magazine that you could print. All right boys and girls, what is a zine? It's a do-it-yourself magazine or a fanzine. It can be large or small, printed or digital. It can contain images, text, artwork, or more. It can be about anything that excites you. Things you'll need, paper, pencil, maybe pens or markers, great ideas, big ideas. It's optional, you could use magazines or recycled paper or comics. You might want to use scissors, glue, stickers, stamps, fabrics, whatever you'd like. Let's just make it happen. All right, boys and girls, we are going to have a DIY, do-it-yourself magazine or zine page, just out of one page. So we're basically going to take a sheet of paper and fold it in half three times. And then we unfold it all the way and then we refold it so that it starts to resemble a magazine or a little book. And don't get too worried about all these little pictures. I'll show you how. Boys and girls, after you make your folds and you refold it, and you were going to number each page, you'll be able to open it up and work on your zine in such a way that you can work on each page unfolded. And then if you wanted to print it on your copier at home, you could print it, cut it, and refold it and give it to friends so you could have copies of your work. So it's really nice that it can be unfolded into a full sheet of paper. All right, boys and girls, I am going to show you step by step how to make a zine. Our first fold, a piece of paper. This is horizontal or like a hamburger. Hamburger or hot dog. This is the hamburger fold. You bring the edges over. Make sure your edges meet before you press your fold. All right, the next step is, looks like a little card here. You're going to bring this over once again. Bring it to the edges, make sure the edges meet, and press your fold. All right, and then the next fold is bringing the top down to the bottom, or the bottom to the top, and Make sure your edges are nice and neat and straight. Make another fold. All right, our next step is to open our paper. And you're going to see the folds. These are important. We're going to open it up and we're going to make a cut right in the middle. So let's close it again and get our scissors and we're going to cut right along this little line. Not all the way to the end. If you cut to the end, you got to refold. So, you'll see a crease right in the middle. So you're going to start from the folded side. So this is the folded side. Touch the folded side and you just make a cut right along the middle. See? Still holding together. That was the next step. All right, here we go. Next step, open it up. You're going to see a cut in the middle with eight squares. Now you're going to fold against these folds and bring it up. See? I'm going to tighten this fold in a new direction. Tighten this fold in a new direction. And these are going to be pages in our little book, in our zine, like a magazine. Okay, it looks kind of like this. So this is going to be a cover, and it 
kind of goes in and out. Oh, there we go. Kind of starts to come together like a little book. Let's see. One, two, three, four. And with a little pencil, so you know which direction to draw in. One, two, three, four. Make sure the book is opening up in this direction like you would read a book. And I would say, in a really light little pencil, you can write front because you'll end up erasing that. See, you can hardly see that I wrote front. And I open it, page one, two, three, four, five, six. And this would be the back. And I'll just write back. B A C K. There we go. Front, one, two, three, four, five, six, back cover. And I'll show you my son's. He, <laughs> he made a little comic book he didn't finish called The Accountant. And it looks like this accountant's holding up um, a calculator by Clayton Allen. And he's wearing a tie. He's got no hair. And you can see that he did not drawn it yet but he made these little squares he, he named this page two cover and he wrote two which i probably wouldn't wrote one another little rectangle a couple little rectangles because he wanted to, to draw a little comic through here six seven and he used the back now when you open it up You're going to see that it opens up into the full sheet. It's got this little split. And then you'll find where you draw your cover page. It'll say front. Remember, we wrote front, and you can erase that. That's how you'll draw the cover page. And then the first, second, or third. And then you're going to turn your paper this way when you're drawing this end of the book. And the back of the book is the opposite side of the front. So you can see how this sort of folds like so. There's like a cube in the center. And it kind of collapses. It kind of collapses on itself into a little booklet. And I'm going to work on mine. Well, boys and girls, once you've learned how to fold your own little zine, you can really choose any subject matter that interests you. Students and artists make them about all sorts of things. You can see these elephants and friends. One's called favorite dresses. So simple. Maybe a little bit about your family. Um, this little student is making a little zine about landfills just eat your mushrooms <laughs> this is a really fantastic drawing by an artist potatoes and hats just so f funny and odd all about you you could have emojis some of your favorite um anime characters really it's endless your ideas could go anywhere really Enjoy yourself, boys and girls. Have fun. And now it's time to brainstorm ideas and see which one excites you.